Welcome to Spangler Stadium. Boiling Springs, North Carolina, game number four for the Watford Terriers. A two and one mark heading into the matchup with Gardner Webb. Now, longtime Wofford observers know that this Bulldog team always plays Wofford tough for some reason, but kind of a VMI-like scenario for Wofford today. An opponent really, really struggling, coming off a huge loss. So far, the Bulldogs have done a great job of not letting that bother them and focusing on the task. We'll see if that's the case. Your first half highlights now. Feels like we got good energy right now, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Ready to go. You know, talking to Coach Mary, he just said it best, man. It's time to go get paid. Yeah. 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 You work every week. Yeah. You work two weeks, yeah. right? You work two weeks for this. We got to go get paid today, all right? You guys understand what we got to get done. Defensively, I told you guys this last night. We've <coughs> got to start fast. You guys got me? Yeah. We've got to start fast. And O-line and D-line starts with you guys. On offense, Smash them in the mouth, yes, take sir. advantage over the top. All right? Yes, and make them earn everything they get tonight. You guys good on that? Yes, sir. It doesn't matter who we play. This is no different than any game we played up this season. This is the next step for us. It's an opportunity for us to go get ready all right, to compete and be as good as you guys can be tonight. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Be as good as you can be tonight. Let's go get out of that time. Yes, yes, Second and eight back to pass. That's Cagle. He's got a receiver and it's intercepted. Ball was deflected and that's Weston Roundtree for the Terriers, his second interception of the year. Second and three. Ball's on the 27. Now Newman pitches outside. Gets a first down for Wofford. From the 46 in motion left is Blake Morgan. Newman takes the shotgun snap. He goes to his left, he's got to cut back. Joe trying to do it all himself, and he's got the first down. Again, same full house backfield. Three backs behind Newman. The give is right up the middle to Andre Stoddard, and he's got running room. Newman, two wide receivers to the right, and Joe gives it up the middle. McAfee avoids the tackle. He's got the first down a lot more. Lennox cuts outside. He's got the 20, the 10, and he is knocked out of bounds inside the 10. Lennox McAfee down to about the eight-yard line. Opening drive. Second and goal from the three. Two wide receivers to the right, McAfee and Stoddard behind Newman. Stoddard gets the call. Actually, yes, Stoddard does get the call, and he bowls in for the Terrier touchdown. Ben snap back to Cagle. He'll look down the middle, or down right sideline, had a man, but just off the hands. Up. Braylon Collins. He's a Newman's in the shotgun. Two backs behind him. Two wide receivers to his left. And it's a give to McAfee. And again, he makes one man miss, falls forward, and gets the first down. Wide receivers to his right. Two setbacks in the wing bone. Joe keeps it. Looks to pitch. It's to Morgan. And Morgan's got the corner. Down the right sideline. First down and more. Long gainer down the sideline. Cage is in later on in the game. For now, though, first to 10. Terriers. Right up the middle is McAfee. He spins out of one tackle, breaks another. Very close to another first down. Gain of 10. In motion left, Morgan, snap in the shotgun. Back to pass is Newman, lofts it over the middle, and that's a touchdown to Morgan. Smith takes the snap, and he'll give to Cagle. Cagle tries to bounce outside, and that's a nice form tackle right there. 36. Smith, back to pass. He's got some heat, and he'll go down under a host of Terriers. 10 from their own, we'll call it the 22-yard line of Wofford. Just underway in the second quarter. Terriers up 14 zip. Back to pass is Newman. He's looking down the middle and it's long and it's caught by TJ Luther. That's what we've been waiting to see. Luther all the way down to the 28 yard line of Gardner Webb into the sideline. He's in the shotgun, two backs behind him. And the give, he keeps it. Joe Newman, oh, he's got nowhere to go and he's just gonna have to t eat it right there. Face mask. Oh yes, late flag comes in and that'll negate a really nice defensive stand on that play for Gardner Webb. Miller Mosley, the 5'11 sophomore from Mobile, Alabama. Takes, is in the shotgun formation. Talking to Lennox McAfee who's split out left. First and 10 Wofford from the Gardner Webb 14 here in the second quarter. Terrier's already up 14 nothing. Miller completes the short pass. Uh, they did not complete the short pass. He was looking for Armani Helliger. Second and 10. Wofford, ball on the 14. Terriers moving from left to right in this 
second period. Give right up the middle to Stoddard. Stoddard over the 10 inside to the nine. Bears who are two and two this season on fourth down. We'll go for it on fourth down again. It's fourth and three from the seven yard line of Gardner Webb. They can get a first down. Mosley takes the snap, gives it to Stoddard and he's stacked up. Tries to lunge forward, but he won't get it. And Gardner Webb will take over on downs. TJ Neal has been a real force on the pass rush for Whopper this year as well. Back to pass and complete. And that's a nice connection there. Smith to Horton in the quarter. It's second and nine, Gardner Webb from the Bulldog 21. Scott, absolutely swarmed under. Billy Hinton was coming on the blitz. And as soon, as soon as Smith took the, uh, the snap, he looked to give it off and maybe he should have because Hinton was in his face. That's 14, Smith back to pass. Avoids the rush again and can't avoid the second wave in there for the sack is Thad Mangum. That's his first sack of 2018. It'll bring up a punting situation for Gardner Webb. And Whopper will get things rolling. 9.34 to play. As Joe sets up in the shotgun. Lovelace in motion. Keeper. And now the pitch to Lovelace. Oh, it's fumbled. Lovelace trying to jump on it. Don't know if he got it. He did not. That's a Gardner-Webb football. So Gardner-Webb's in business. First and 10 Bulldogs from the Wofford 41. Jordan Smith back to pass. He's got pressure and trying to run him down and forcing the long pass. Incomplete, but he's around the football. Absolutely. Okay, now we got a busted play and a short loss next to Smith on third down. Smith throws over the middle. He's got a man, and that's complete first down. On a lineman allowing linebackers to run free and make plays. Back to pass is Scott. Got a man over the middle. It's juggled and caught. Rollins again? No, that's Horton. Kyle Thornton. Wofford has yep. been really, really good, and there's a lot less room for the Bulldog wide receivers to operate down tight here. Second down, back to pass again. Scott, he throws it at the left flat. He's got a man, and he's got the corner, and that's going to be a Gardner-Webb touchdown. Two backs behind Joe, and the give is right up the middle, and Andre Stoddard has some room to run. He's up for about seven, maybe eight behind Newman, and he'll give it right up the middle at Stoddard again. When he gets in the rhythm, he's tough to stop. And on second and two, Andre Stoddard gets about nine. Absolutely. Second and five. Ball's on the Whopper at 46. Under five minutes to play now in the second quarter. Newman takes the snap. Fourth straight, give up the middle, and with room is that Stoddard. Andre Stoddard is off to the races. 10-5, and a Terrier touchdown. 46-yard scamper for Andre Stoddard. Playing members, so they almost have two seasons. They have their first five, which are non-conference, and then their second five, which are conference. The boot by Luke Carter, it's short, and that's taken at his own eight-yard line by Horton. Big hit on special teams, and Horton's driven backwards, but not before gaining the 24-yard line. Third and three, Gardner-Webb from their own 31, 4-11 to play in this second quarter. 21-7, Wofford leading. Shotgun for Jordan Smith. In fact, it's a direct snap, a little trickery here. Oh, we've got a loose football, or do we? I think that ball came loose, but I think Gardner-Webb got back on it. It was a direct snap to Jalen Myers. Newman's under center. He's got Stoddard behind him, McAfee in motion, and Stoddard has room up the middle again, across the 50, over the 40, into Gardner-Webb territory. Wofford has a first and 10 from the Gardner-Webb 40. Newman under center, McAfee in motion right. Newman, a bilateral pass, and throwing it is Jason Hill, and it's complete downfield to Blake Morgan. Corny to play, Wofford first and 10 from the Gardner-Webb 14. Jason's dad was a quarterback at Wofford, so there's some throwing in the, in the bloodlines. He'll be breaking down that form in the game tape review. All right, pitch from Newman to Nathan Walker. Nathan Walker gets to the 11-yard line. He's stacked up. They're still fighting. He'll stay in bounds, so that clock will keep running. Got a flag down on about the that clock will stop. 17. Newman takes the shotgun snap. He'll keep it. 
Had McAfee on the bench. Joe keeps it. He's got the five inside the five down to about the two yard line. And it's a play. Wofford looking to punch it in. First and goal from the two. Shotgun is Newman. Newman gives to Soddard. He's level. Wofford not in any hurry. Second and goal from the five. Still two timeouts the Terriers have as Newman checks at the line of scrimmage. 15 on the play clock. Newman takes the snap. Looking to throw, then he pulls it down. He's tackled on the four. The Terriers are going to have to burn a timeout here, and they do with 12 seconds to play. On your place kicking unit, see if you can get three here to end the half. So with six seconds to go, Luke Carter will line up just a little bit more than an extra point, a 26-yard field goal. The kick is true. Second and seven from the Garter Web, 44. Morgan in motion left. Two backs behind Newman. And he will hand it off, and Stoddard rumbles up the middle. Andre Stoddard, who had more than 100 yards rushing in the first half, gets close to first down yardage. Newman looks to the sideline, plenty of time on the play clock, 15, as Newman barks out the signal. Stoddard behind him, McAfee as well. Stoddard has it, and he's got the first down, center. Really making all the blocks. Lennox McAfee talked about his offensive line this week and, and how they don't get a lot of attention. Back to passes Newman, and he's looking long. Right side, quarter of the end zone. Got him, man, and that's a touchdown, T.J. Luther. Liberty Baptist, but of course, that the level of that defense and the level of the Terrier defense, two very different things. Scott is back to pass on second down. He looks left, and he's got a man on the Wofford side of the 50, 45-yard line to be exact. Scott is back to pass. Goes short, not quite a first down unless they give forward progress, and they very well might, and they do. Not showing a whole lot of rust. First and 10, Gardner-Webb, ball at the Wofford, 30. Cagle, not much running room. In fact, he's knocked way back. That's great defensive pursuit. John Beckley led the charge. And I think uh, Robbie Armstrong might have mopped it up. Western Roundtree moved the ball on the ground. You've got a 31-7 to lead. Gardner-Webb is most effective through the air. Now Cagle's in motion, and Scott is back to pass. He's got time to throw down the middle long, and that's a touchdown. Mosley is under center. He's got three running backs, a, a true wing bone formation here. Lovelace in motion, and the give is right up the middle to Stoddard. Saw Miller Mosley right on Stoddard's heels. Playbook. Now Miller Mosley probably itching to throw this ball. Don't know if that goes in line with what Wade Lang wants out of him right now. In fact, they'll give the ball to McAfee at a reverse and a throwback to Mosley, but he's got pressure. He couldn't throw the ball and now he gets away from pressure and throws it to McAfee. McAfee catches, but he's working his way across the field and he's got some room. Lennox McAfee has the first down and more across the 50, across the 40. 31. Wofford at the Wofford 23. We've got 6.56 left to play. And a 31 to 14 Wofford lead. And after a uh, delay of what seemed like a, about five minutes, we'll put the ball into play. And Joe Newman's back in at quarterback. Miller Mosley may have been the receipt of that hit that they looked at, so Newman's back to pass. And he's going long down the right sideline. And that's too long for T.J. Luther. He had plenty of coverage. First and 10, Gardner-Webb from their own 35. Back to passes. Smith, now he'll pull it down and run. Boy, he's got some room. The worst for wear. And he will get things rolling. First and 10 from the 17. Mosley takes the snap in the shotgun. Handed off right up the middle. Lennox McAfee breaks it. Wow, spins out of a tackle. He's got a first down. First and Ted Wofford from their own 44. Two backs behind Mosley. Shotgun snap. The give is to Stoddard again. And he's got running room. Stoddard peels back on the 20. Mosley now under center. Different look from the Terriers. He gives it up the middle. And that's Nathan Walker in for Stoddard. Gets down to the 15. That'll be a gain of five. Third and three from the 13. Mosley. Arms out, takes the shotgun snap. He runs right. He'll keep it. Miller Mosley burrows down inside the 10 to the 9. One setback behind Mosley. 
And that's up the middle. That's who gets it. Rumbling up the middle. We're going we're gonna to go goal to go here. Second and goal from the three-yard line. Miller Mosley in the quarterback. He's played most of the second half for Wofford after Joe Newman played the first. He's got Andre Stoddard behind him. Blake Morgan in motion. Stoddard gets there. The ball's loose. A bad transfer between quarterback and fullback, and it's Gardner-Webb football. That after driving the ball right down the field. Second down. Scott is back to pass. He throws to his left, and it's complete. A short gainer out across the 10. Third and two for the Gardner-Webb Bulldogs. One back behind Scott. He'll hand it off. Cagle was stopped behind the line of scrimmage and then bounced forward. And he is close to the line again. I still don't think he got it. I think a little. half yard short. Garter Red players should, indicating first down. The Whopper players indicating it'll bring up fourth. And the Whopper viewpoint is the correct one. Fourth, less than one. Mosley sends Karras in, ocean, in motion from the left to the right side of Mosley on the keeper. He's tripped up. Falls to the 40-yard line. So third and two from the Gardner Webb 46. The handoff, or the pitch from Mosley to McAfee. He's got the first down and plenty more across the 30, the 20. McAfee stays on his feet, cuts back in. Touchdown, Terriers. Lennox McAfee, 46 yards out. And Wofford blows this game open. That looked like a video game type run. I don't, he was just bouncing off guys. Now in a defense for, for Wofford is Scott fades back on third down. Throws over the middle. That is complete, but short of the first down. You go all the way back to the early 2000s. The Terriers find a lot of good products out of the state of Kentucky. First to 10 Terriers, ball on the 49. Nathan Walker has the ball. It goes right up the middle, right up the hash mark. He's across the 20, dragged down inside the 15. Walker gets a rest. And the pitch out, whoo, a little bit of a dangerous one to Van Cleve, but he makes it work, turns the corner. Got inside, I think he stepped out of bounds at about the four, maybe the three. DeMaurier Van Cleve. Mosley orchestrating another solid offensive drive, and he takes the snap. Mosley on the pitch. Van Cleve will walk in for the Wofford touchdown. Great job by Miller Mosley disguising the pitch, and it's another Terrier touchdown with 8.50 to play. But you, there's much they can do. First and 10. Scott pulls the ball down, and he is sacked. Third and 12 from their own 17 for Gardner Webb. Smith is back, and he is swarmed again. That's another Wofford sack, and that is Thad Mangum. It's first and 10 from the Wofford 31, the freshman from the Cincinnati area. Back to pass, and he's running for his life, but he gets out of it. Jimmy Mangum breaks a tackle. He's going to get positive yardage on this. Actually, get out about five, maybe six yards. Second and 11 now. Jimmy Wyrick, the third Wofford quarterback to play in the shotgun. He's got Suggs, Van Cleve, and Wyrick on the keeper. Gets out of trouble. Somehow skitters across. He's got first down yardage. How about that run? Hey, guys. A couple things. Number one, okay, I think we took care of business how we needed to take care of business. And here's what I like. I think some of you guys came off the field here tonight during the course of the game, at least I did, and I'm thinking, you know, we got to continue to take steps forward, right? And getting better all the time. And we're always looking for excellence. That's what we're searching for. We know <coughs> that we got to clean up, turn the ball over, right? We got some things we got to clean up, but I'm just going to give you a couple numbers. Total defense tonight for us was 203. That's an ass kicking. You guys got me? Yeah. All right. And then total offense was 643. <laughs> So, listen to me, hey, as you guys are looking at it, I, I got guys telling me, hey, a win's a win, right? A win is a win. 45 to 14, you're, you're willing to elite. You guys are pissed off a little bit about that, right? Yeah. So don't be too pissed off. You guys got me? You won, you're three and one, we got a big time game next week. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm satisfied. Obviously, a win is a win is a win, and um, we we wanted to get, take care of business up here, and and we did. We did that. I think I was encouraged with some of their, the players' demeanor as we came off the field. I thought that they 
felt like they didn't play uh, to their best ability. Um, they didn't make the improvement I think that they wanted to uh, at certain positions. I think some positions were maybe a little bit different. So that's encouraging to see. Um, I'm excited about that, that mentality. And then when you go in there and you look at some of the offensive numbers and even some of the defensive numbers that we put up tonight, you go, wow, uh, we got after it pretty well and probably not as clean and a little bit raggedy at times. But um, uh, we did what we had to do, and it's it's onward. Well, I think any time you're running the ball as effectively as we are, it starts with those guys. Uh, and then you know you have some running backs that are making some plays and making guys miss and run through arm tackles. But the most uh, encouraging thing for me with that group is the fact that they came out here in the end of the third and into the fourth quarter and really grinded this thing out and kind of took over the line of scrimmage, finished the game uh, how we wanted to finish. And you could tell that they were starting to impose their will a little bit on the uh, on the uh, defensive line of Garner Webb. Yeah, we're going to continue, you know, to talk about that. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves uh, for sure. And you know, we really tried to focus in on what individual guys needed to work on, what individual groups needed to work on. And we saw some guys step up. I mean, I think Andre Stoddard played as hard as he has all year. Uh, it was great to see a guy like TJ Luther have some really good things happen to him. You know, and then when you look at the things we got to correct, things we got to fix, the turnovers will end up beating you um, as we go down throughout conference play. But, um, you know, yeah, we, we came up here, we took care of business, uh, we did what we needed to do, and now we need to start focusing in on the conference play. Uh, I think it just comes down to execution. I feel like we did a much better job of ex executing for the most part. I thought it was still sloppy, but uh, I think we got better today. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, that was the game plan, just kind of get back to old school Wofford football. And um, I feel like we did a great job of running and throwing the ball today. Oh, there's a ton of room for improvement. Um, like I said, today was sloppy. Um, we got a lot of stuff to clean up, and I think that's the scary part. Um, we still got a lot to do and we still have a lot of room for improvement and I think we're making good progress and we're going in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But that's credit to the coaches and the offensive line and they did a great job today and I'm really proud of the way our guys competed. Once again, the offensive numbers are astounding. More than 600 yards of total offense. Andre Stoddard, 200 yards rushing. This was one of those take care of business games, and the Terriers did exactly that. And now at 3-1, and one, still undefeated in the Southern Conference, they set the stage for what could be a huge conference showdown next week at Chattanooga. For Inside Wofford Football, I'm Jim Noble.